Good morning. Wow, how many? 38 of you guys out there? Smash the like button. We are waiting for Renee Fisher to show up. You guys know Renee. She has totally been on our YouTube channel a lot. You see her contributions. She tried to hit me up last time she was coming into town, but she gave me such short notice it didn't work out. So here we are. We're waiting for her to show up. She'll be here any minute. And in the meantime, I've gotten a few little gifts together to give her for her trip out. And um, from one groomer to another, I get, I'm giving her a couple things I think uh, she could use. And uh, yeah, we're going to make this happen. She's probably watching right now. Are you there, Renee? <laughs> Is Renee there? Let me see if I got just one more longer here. No, I got this. Wow, Melissa, thank you so much, man. That's awesome. I've got my doggies. I told you, you know, I brought them here because I'm under construction, but um, here's my, my babies that have passed away. Okay, um, I'm going to make a stand for them. All right, what's up, you guys? Good morning. Oh, this is this is too much, man. All right, so I have a, a lot going on today, but I made a, a trip out to, to see you. I'm on my way, actually, to the chiropractor right after I meet with her. Ah, yeah, she's here. So I am waiting for you to show up so we can all have that exciting moment of like, you know, we, we've been talking for how long you've been watching my YouTube channel, Renee? I've gotten butterflies. That's awesome. <laughs> Man, I'm just a person like you, okay? So just, uh, boy, dude, look, my hair's not, you know how those people are like, shave my dog? This is it. Shave my head because it's, this is long for me. Uh, looking at myself is, uh, I guess I don't look in the mirror that often. You might brush your teeth in the mirror, but. All right, Renee, Renee drove out an hour away. Finally got my large upstand ordered. Yeah, woohoo, Mary, awesome. Do you have the small, Mary? Yes or no? And then how is the small working for you? Um, good morning, you guys. And so here I got a scroll. I can't believe I got a donation already, man. Thanks a lot for, for pitching in. That's really cool. It's, it helps your channel. You know, I've been lost, listening to a lot of... Uh, pasture radios and let me tell you this one pastor he's like the only reason we're here is through your financial ben through your financial contribution he doesn't even say donations and stuff he literally says which is true he has to buy airtime he has to pay for people to record him he has to have someone edit it he has to have someone put it on there is so much more to it then we we consider yeah there's ads to watch after a live right if you're here participating in a live how many ads are you watching um, I think you can now add ads, but that's how you get paid. And I know you don't work for free, do you? Um, you might be on state assistance. You might be on Social Security. You might be in those things. But at one time, I would hope that you did not ever work for free. Uh, if you wanted to volunteer, that's one thing. But I don't think anybody should work for free, right? Especially if... Um, they have bills, right? So uh, when you contribute, it goes a long way. And I just have to say thank you. I didn't even ask for anything. And someone had already said, here, Didi, I'm donating. Thanks a lot for being live. Thanks for being here. Thanks for teaching me things. Even though I shop other places, let me contribute to you so you can stay going for me because I'm benefiting off of you. So that, thank you for that. That's really awesome. Um, however you want to mentally put it in your head, that pasture says... <laughs> And I was like, I need to record that. That's exactly it, right? He said, um, send in your, we would not be here without your financial contribution. That's exactly what he said. And I thought, that's so true. If someone financially doesn't help you stay in business, how are you to run your church? Uh, how are you to run your church? Let's think about this. So tithing, right? If you're on tithing and uh, the Bible would say many things about tithing and I'm not a I, don't, I could not pull scripture out of my head. So I know my sister has told me a lot about tithing. And Michelle, if you're out there, Michelle is a longtime client a long time ago with Jazzy. She explained tithing to me at one point. Man, she, every month she tithes a, a lot, right? They all say it. Thank you, me and you gaming. They all say it. But that's a church. So that's not, uh, is that, isn't that a nonprofit? I don't know, but that makes there to be some research to be had, right? So I'm not a nonprofit. I'm a business. But do I do free things? I do. Do I help some people? I do. Have I helped you? Have you paid me to help you? I don't know. Did you? Um, these videos are out there for free, and I don't want to spend too much time on it, but just thank you. Thank you, Melissa P. Woo! Thank you for your donations. I can't do it by myself, right? You can't do it by whatever you're doing. You can't do it by yourself. You might be working somewhere. Am I right? You might be working somewhere. You might be, don't, there's no one that's going to work for free. I hate, I hate to tell you, we can't. Um, not, 
not unless you are not living somewhere and paying bills, okay? If someone else is paying the bills, maybe, then that, then that could be free. You could be living for free. Uh, someone's paying for something, okay? All right, I don't want to spend a lot of time on that. That's not what this is about. This was about, hey, what's up? Renee is on her way. She texts me. She emailed me last week. I'm, I, hey, Renee, you got to plan ahead. And with me, you got to plan ahead because what am I, a realtor? I do a bunch of, oh, is the door locked? I got a doorbell installed the other day. What the? That's not Renee. It's open. What the? What are you doing ringing my doorbell, bro? I left some stuff in the scanner that I need to get. What the? I thought you were supposed to be uh, doing some application at 9 a.m. False alarm. Churches are nonprofit and tithing is 10%. Thank you. Thank you. See, I don't know it all, right? But I do challenge us all to go figure it out, right? Oh, my goodness. He left some stuff in this here. Well, good luck with everything. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, let me see. You did something on accident. Oh, great. Why am I always I'm messing this? Right now. I'm all shaved, bro. Anyways, like random. Uh, so Renee, I'm waiting on Renee. Okay, and look, we got some contributors. We got a new member. The five came from Airdrie. Airdrie, that's another donation from you. I recognize your name. I'm not lesbian, Tammy. <laughs> I just love you back. She said I would turn lesbian for you. Just because? Are you telling me because of my short hair I'm a lesbian? Let me tell you, when you hit your 40s, I just saw my friend Vanessa. I grew up with her. We partied together. We went to, uh, we didn't go, even go to school together, but we, we cruised a strip together. We, she, we were good friends. We worked together for a little while, I think. And she, uh, she was on Facebook, and I saw the other day, she said, Dee, she said everybody, not Dee, Dee. She was like, I cut off all my hair. She's Native American. And I'm going to tell you, when you hit your 40s, you are really going to cut off all your hair. And then as you get older, I think you're going to cut off a lot of your hair. So just because someone has short hair does not mean that they are, you know, lesbian. And not that I have anything against them. Um, and I say them as in uh, anybody who is whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Uh, I hope that God judges you and not me. And uh, if you want short hair, go get short hair. If you want long hair, go get long hair. But, but um, okay, he's got to show me something. You are one of the, oh, I appreciate that. Weird. I don't know where that came from. Okay, Renee, I got some really cool stuff set up for you. You got to stay young, so I'm giving you some Recover E Cucumber iPads. You know, if you order from me, I send you a free gift, right? I don't know why I started this thing. I don't know anybody that does that. I never ordered something on any of the places I've ordered and got something free. So um, I, can, I know where I started. It's because when you, we, I told you a long time ago, you know, Asians, because I'm half Asian, what we do is when you make us, and you guys have bought like $8, you spent $8 with me, right? And I sent you a small free gift. And um, my mom would take us grocery shopping in Japan. And I remember if you spent like a hundred bucks, if, you, if the grocery, shop, if the grocery cart was full, we got a bag of candy or we got a bag of Japanese cookies or we got a bag of, we got some, we got a bag of rice a couple times. And how can I remember that when I was like maybe five, six years old, four or five, six years old, but I remember it. And I remember how happy I was and it, it, it played out in my life. Like as we got older, I still remember we would drive from South Dakota when my dad was stationed there. We would drive all the way to Denver, Colorado to the only Asian mart that was in, my, my mom's Asian, she cooks rice and um, maybe some of that curry, but not a lot. She said, you don't eat that much curry, although I'm addicted to curry. She would cook rice, vegetables, uh, noodles, you could want to, noodles that you grew up eating, you can't get them in South Dakota at the time. There was one little tiny store, mostly like a Vietnamese kind of flair, Thai, Thailand flair, it's different than Taiwan or China. And so we would drive What's it? South Dakota to Denver, Colorado, six hours. Friday, 
and maybe even take that trip right back only to go get groceries, only to go get what food my mom was used to eating, right? So when we would make that trip, sometimes, well, most of the time, we spent five, six more than that on groceries because we only went there every six months or so. Lots of rice, the type of noodles she would use, you know, because they're dried up, you could put them in the cabinet. Um, pickles, jarred pickles, and you eat a lot of rice, vegetables, pickles. You got to, it's Japanese television I saw, it's called triangular eating. So you have a bowl of rice and you have a little bit of tuna, canned tuna, canned mackerel and tomato sauce with pickles and stuff, right, right, right. And we would drive all the way over there and sometimes we would have to mention it, right? We would say, well, we drove six hours here to, to shop here and we would spend five, six hundred dollars or more. And you're, you're not driving six hours to spend a hundred dollars in groceries that'll last you Asian time six months. So they would always give us a bag of something. They don't do it anymore, at least not around here, not in Texas. They probably still do in some other stores. When you buy a mul someone standing at the register goes, dang, you, you know, thanks a lot for buying all that here. I'm gonna throw in a bag of these rice cake cookies. What, 99 cents and 20 cookies? Dried up, flaky, they're probably gonna go bad in a month, right? But I'm gonna give you a free bag of cookies. And so here I am um, in your gifts, well, when you order, right, I give you some, I like to try to give you something. Might be real small, uh, but it was free. It was a gift, right? I love gifts. I love little surprises. So here we go. So Renee Fisher, I'm sending you home today with a nail grinder, okay? Complimentary from Andis, because Andis was great to me too. And I'm going to give you these recovery cucumber iPads. Don't let them sit dry, okay? Use them. That's supposed to be a gift. It is a gift. It's a surprise. I mean, she's watching right now. It's not a surprise no more. Well, I'm telling everybody. I'm going to send her home with a face mask because it's my favorite thing. And I really hope she wears it. And then you know you got to ask for what you want. So I'm going to send her home with a sticker. She can put near her grooming station. She may not be allowed to, so she could put it on a folder next to her grooming station. And it says, tips appreciated. Okay? And she's going to have to probably cut this bottom part off because it says myfavoritegroomer.com. But Renee, that's, I'm going to send you home with that. Thanks so much for making the trip out to me. You'll be here any minute walking in. We're not going to stay on live very long. I got to make the chiropractor after this. And she wants to pick up a few things uh, when she shows up. So Renee, thanks a lot um, for your contributions. I've seen your donations. You guys may have recognized her donations from months ago, like bang, bang, bang. And as a PetSmart groomer, Renee works at PetSmart. And so there are people of all backgrounds that watch the show and that have learned so much and that support what I do and believe in what I do. You don't have to, but there are many people, whether you're a business owner, a pet parent, a non-pet parent, a cat owner, a groomer at a different place, a groomer owner, a groomer in training, a I want to be a groomer. There's so many people that watch the show and Renee is a pet smart groomer and I just love it when the pet smart groomers reach out because that's where I learned to groom many, many, many years ago. And for many reasons, and I may put in a book, uh, I'm no longer with PetSmart and haven't been for years since um, 2000 and five you know it's been a long time and today is uh J july 30th is it 30th 29th or 30th july 30th 2019 so it's been quite a long time so renee thank you so much for your orders thank you for wanting to swing by the second time now and we are going to make this happen today and hurry your buttons up where are you at girl <laughs> and then i hope you i hope you love the gifts and maybe if you didn't catch it you'll she might be driving. I'm not sure. You know what I mean? But thank you all for being here. As soon as she walks in, we'll capture it. We'll talk a little bit. I'll ask her a couple questions. Let her kind of say hi if she wants to. Not everyone's me. Not everyone's all like, what's up? So she's got her butterflies going on. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to take a minute also. I, um, I'm going to do it right now. And then maybe I'll do it again later. There's a company I have recently used. I'm not getting any benefit from this. But I do want to do a shout out. Because every now and then, like if you're in Texas. And so Renee's from Texas. And uh, I'm in Texas. And so I'll rename this a little bit. There's a company that I have recently had my roof done. And I, you know how you sit down with somebody and you know they're looking at you like you're a person and not like a number. I love that, right? I love that feeling of knowing that I am cared about and maybe even in my situation through what I'm going with, through, they're there for me. And this roofing company hung out with me for about three months and he, he goes, Didi, I didn't think you were gonna call me. And uh, his uh, information is called Aspermont Roofing Company, A-S-P-E-R-M-O-N-T, five 
stars across the board. He sat down with me. He texted me back. He met with me. And we're talking a course of three months because I really wanted all those storms to come through, right? And if there was going to be more hail, I really wanted them to really go ahead and do their damage before I had the roof done. So I recently had my roof done. They were, they set it up. There was, you know how you go back through and you find no nails. There was no nails on the ground, no trash in the backyard. Um, no like debris left everywhere, things like that. And, um, Nothing that was where I felt like, which has happened before, it was just like really crappy job. The job was done in one day, boom, all done. I had the dogs out of the home. It was fast and efficient, and he was super professional um, and really human. And this is Aspermont Roofing Company. So I wanted to do a shout out, which I promised him I would talk about his business because he really meant a lot to me, he did a lot for me. So I, I wanna talk about him. If you need to get a roof done in Texas, Call him and maybe not, man. I wonder if um, if you're not in Texas, if he would like totally do your roof for you. Just call him anyway. Aspermont, just call him. A S P E R M O N T. Aspermont Roofing. Let me see if I have his number on me. Um, he gave me his website, but I'm on my cell phone right now, so I can't pull it up. Yep. So it's eight one seven two six nine three zero eight one, and that you're gonna ask for Dave. So we've got all these Dave's, Davids and Dave's, right? I just want to double check and see if I have his card here and make sure that is the right one because that would be a fail if it wasn't. Let's see. It's on my phone. I don't have it here. I don't know where I put it, though. It's in a text message. You can go to my email and pull up Aspermont and just to double check because he's emailed me, too. You know, I've got hundreds of business cards. Okay, so um, I will, I'll repeat it one more time. And this is uh, July 2019, July 29th, 2019. Just type in Asper. Wow. My mind's going much faster than David. I am, what do you mean, am I live right now? Yeah, you can see if it's live by clicking, just tap the screen and you, there should be a dot at the left. It's green, a green dot. Yeah, you want to see the shop here? Nope. This is resale stuff. I got stuff for resale and outgoing mail and stuff like that. Uh, we have all kinds of stuff. As a matter of fact, I was talking to Renee, and she was telling me about a product she was coming out here to get that I don't have. If, if you want to shop with me, I will get it for you. So just let me know. I, I do wholesale with Esprit, with um, Pet Silk, with Andis, and many other companies. Petty Paw, I mean... You just comfy cone, whatever you need, you can just let me know and I'll get it for you. Look at all these smocks I've got. We got all these different colors. Um, scissors, Klein, that's another one. I almost forgot about Klein. That's a good one, you know. Maybe. I'm here. Oh my gosh, really? This, I don't know what, I don't think I've ever seen you like Never. a picture of you. Let me come this way with the light. What's up? Hey, Say hello, guys. YouTube. How was the drive in? Busy. Busy. Yes, really? Traffic in Dallas. The boyfriend. Yes. Hey. Cool. So, yeah. What's up? Give me a hug, girl. What's up? Thanks for coming out. I know. So cool. Right? So nice. Especially to meet you. Live. Oh my god. That's awesome. How are you? Shaking. Shaking. Oh right. Shaking. Oh, oh my god. Great. So good to meet you. Oh, so. Thank no you idea. for your support, for no, telling me your story, you. for the conversations. For oh, you have no idea. The phone it's calls. Been, um, yeah, all of it. That's so, I'm that's like, so cool. It's so cool. We're here. We're here. You're here. We're standing here. And I'm just a person. Like, I know. You know I'm and not like, anything special. You see it on TV, and then it's like, do I look the same? <laughs> you know how you're like, well, D V you a little uh, shorter than I thought you'd be. No. Just yeah, no, that is true. Yeah, you can't get all that, right? Yeah. You just get my face. Up yeah. Hi, I'm Dee Dee. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank, oh, did you drive? Yeah. Thanks, man. I guess no, I, I, I guess I'm gay. I found out I was gay this morning on YouTube, no, so that's definitely not. And, <laughs> I know, right? Right. Did you see that like six years? Were you there six years? Like, not six years ago, but yeah, no. It Everyone did that. Like, oh, we got that. And I was like, just because someone has short hair doesn't mean they're gay. No, right? You know, if I go out, some people ask me that too, you know. Um, yeah, it's okay. No. It's okay. I don't take it personal. But yeah. But, yeah. No, it's finally, because even through this hard stuff, watching you, it, like you're just like, oh, just whatever. Let haters be haters. Yep. Yep. And, and you say the hard stuff because you see some of it happening, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Would you take it in? You, can, don't, you, you can't. can't. Don't take it in. Because 
Have what you ever you? taken it in? I have the in the very beginning, yes, because you're new. You don't know it. Right, and you on. see it, boom, boom, attacked, yeah. attacked, right? And then what's your, what's your take on it? Right there, you're just you're wanting to protect, right? Yeah. Don't you go, yeah, stop, stop, shut up. Yeah, right? and now it's just like, another one, going. another one. Yep. How then, often, it took me a minute to figure this out. We're talking about haters. The, they, how often do you see the same one? I haven't seen the same one. It's several different ones that pop in and they're like, oh, you're hurting the dog. And it's like, no, you're not hurting the dog. Right. They you're just pull in for help. two minutes. Yeah. And then and they, it's like they say they're going to do that. Yeah, it's mid-groom where the dog is, ah! yeah, yeah okay. the bad stuff. And right. It's like, they probably watched, and then they want to comment. Right. And then it's like. And then they leave, though. So just, yeah. they might come back, boom, boom, boom. But it's very rare. And every now and then I do yeah. catch the same person in yeah. the comments in general, not live. Yeah. But every now and then you actually do see, it's like a thief. Yeah. It's like a thief. So a cop says a thief usually never comes back. Yeah. They usually don't. No. They usually don't. So I, I had this one guy come through. He yeah. uh, did something, something yeah. in my old place. And it was where, like, a more of a warehouse. Yeah. So the policeman said, you know, he was um, on drugs and all this. And yeah. likely he, he's not going to come back. You can yeah. sit here and wait for him, Petey. Yeah. But he he's probably still... is not going to do his route again. Yeah. He's already on to the next yeah, we're on the next one. Yep. And he goes, and that license plate is actually out of Denton, Texas. So he's not even from around here. Yes, yeah. thank you. So you know what I mean? Yeah. So you might he see these people that come in, jab, yeah. and leave. Yeah. And so and you have to go. Uh, it was. It's hard for me to train myself. And we'll close this subject out. But it's hard for me to train myself until recently. Is like you got to kind of ignore. And every, that, every mm -hmm. now and then you forget to ignore. Yes. You see something like real damn. I'm going to oh. kill you. And you go, that's a threat. And that's illegal. And you. Yep. Right? Yep. And you should just go ahead and depart before you get in trouble. Yep. Um, we just don't have enough uh, YouTube cops, right? Right. Out there. Exactly. And soon I think there will be um, something that yes. is there for it. It will happen because our generation yes. and the one right behind us is going to do that. Exactly. Because they're, they're going to have to. Of right? course. Because so, it's so big now. So tell me, we're going to ask her what? We're going to ask her two questions. You guys, first two questions you guys have for her as a pet smart groomer, someone that drove one hour to see me. Two questions, and then I'm going to ask her one myself. So you guys go with your questions. I'll pick two questions. Go ahead and write. But I'm going to ask you, you've been working for PetSmart how long? Three years. And tell me, you don't have to say what you don't like, okay? But tell me what you love about working at PetSmart. What I love is the clients. Clients. Yes. Okay. Like the true loving ones that always come in. They always take care of their pets. And yes, a lot of them are my doodle requests and stuff like that. So you Poodles. have those? I do. Okay. Poodle, I like oodles. Poodles. I Labra, have the poodle. golden. Right. Poodle. I, like everybody that wants theirs done, they usually hand me because that's what I do. Really? Yes. All sizes? All sizes. And your little yep. dinky little, little self? Yep. And and so are you have any um, issues here yet? It's this side. This side? Yes. So how do I know right where it's at? Yep. All so let me, just, let me just show you right here. This is, I, I get a burn right here yep. 24 hours a day now. So yep. if she gets a burn, it's going to be right. Yep. Here's her bone. And I'm not yep. a doctor. But right? yeah, it's right so there. So here's her bone here. Yep. The husband here needs to do this right here. And uh, I, you don't need to do all this for an hour. You really don't. You really need to apply please. pressure and just rub that out. Am I right? Yes. Okay, and just rub that. And then you might have to do the whole arm up. Go up and back. And then... He's gonna come in underneath this cup, this yeah. cup, cup here, mm -hmm. right? Oh. I know I'm getting real personal with her, but it's that, really serious because I can feel yeah, just feel. one finger here, and you got to do strong finger, right? Mm -hmm. and you okay. Feel everything, don't you? So all the bumps yeah. and stuff there. Yeah. It's really bad, and yeah. she can go to, and I can go to a masseuse like once a week, and it's actually not enough. No, it's not enough. So yeah. husband, you can use your elbow because mm -hmm. it's really. David will be like four minutes. I'm done. No, I, so I went from an, uh, almost two hours last night. Yeah. yeah. No way. Yeah. David. <laughs> I did. Two hours. <laughs> so get your elbow in there. Yeah. If your fingers get tired, get your elbow in there, and mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be your partner in life. It could be your friend. It could be your mm -hmm. coworker. It could be the corner of the building. Thank you. Yeah. I do that a lot because David is just not there for me on that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. I mean, I'm over here doing this number with that corner. It's, yeah, just in between to get grooming. Relief. Yeah, just get what you Something. need is that pressure in there, mm -hmm. right? Especially yesterday, I did nine. Nine what? Dogs. Two of them were just smaller dogs. Yeah. And then the rest were. Bigger. It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and uh, don't tell me your age, but what age cat are you? In your 40s, your 30s, your 20s? What are you in? 20s. You're in your 20s. Mm -hmm. 
when I go to a show and a groomer tells me, oh, I got, I got this, my, I got mm -hmm. a husband holding my dog. No. No, no. I don't. And no. she's like 100 years old. This lady was like, I got my hands. I, I got my, my husband. He holds the dog. I, didn't no. they, David? No. She, this big woman. I got my, my hands are fine. There's no way. You're, no. You're lying to me. No. And you're in your 20s and I'm in my 40s and I already can tell you I'm yeah. standing here with the bird. Yeah. So it, get ready. Yes, I know. And then um, this is too much information. Y'all should pay for this <laughs> kind of education. Okay, here comes UPS. I didn't know I had a package. Hey, what's up? Oh, man, I appreciate you. All right, thank you. What's this? Oh, I know what this is. I, this, okay. So I might as well just talk about it yeah. real fast. So this company send me a wood ramp and um let me see if the company name is on here i don't see it no it's a okay i'm gonna just say i got a wood ramp and soon to come will be a video about the wood ramp okay mm -hmm. so they sent me a free wood ramp to talk about and i i think i'm able to get a free one to give away on that video so we'll talk more about it and just be be watching for a video on that so i got a company That's reached awesome. out and said hey try this for us and demo it and let us yeah. know what you think so we're that's Good. so cool, right? Right. Okay. Um, what we're talking about is there's no way, yeah. if you're in your 20s and I'm in my 40s, that you are going to be great to go no. in your 40s. It, no. We go downhill. Yes, we are. We're and wearing our bodies out. Yeah. So. Because I can't, like half of our salon is on weight limits because of back issues. Wow. Yeah. So and you're saying the individual groomer mm -hmm. it has a weight limit. Because on, of their, and they're younger than you. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you guys think about that. Okay. If you want to be in the industry. And they've um, all worked for PetSmart too. So if you want to come into this industry, I get a lot of that. I want to be a groomer. I want to do that. These are things to think about. So then I'm not going to tell you what you need to do, but I need you to have a backup plan. Yes. So whether it be, working what do you work? Can I, act, do you want to tell YouTube what you might be working? Cause I got a realtor license. I so that's my backup plan. Okay. I haven't quite figured out what my backup plan is. I just know that it needs to be with dogs. To help okay. Them. Because okay. my original plan was to be a vet tech. Okay. But I didn't want to go to school because me in school, I don't really no? do it. No. Okay. So, because you're in school, long story short. Okay. So, I want to be there helping, and then grooming <laughs> opportunities showed up. So I was like, I'm taking it. Okay. Because it involves animals okay. and helping them, good or bad. Okay. You know. So I know it needs. So you're you have plan. a thought process mm -hmm. for your backup plan? Yes. Okay. It's so thinking mm -hmm. it's now it's actually getting to that getting so I'm gonna I, I have some suggestions for you which I'm not gonna say out loud if you guys want coaching call yes. me email me it's 75 bucks an hour usually it depends on if you're what you're trying to do if you're doing it for a business it's gonna be more because us business are making money off of it yep. if you're doing it for yourself you you paid for coaching mm -hmm. didn't you uh, yep. I think it might have been a barter but you paid for yeah definitely she, she contributed and I gave her money for coaching yep. so uh, I appreciate that Okay. Um, I'm gonna tell her what I would do right now, and if you need that kind of coaching, you let me know. You go on myfavoritegroomer.com, go to the business section, book a coaching. It is your world, it is your life, it is your training, and if you want someone that has been through some stuff, his college education, wants to tell you how I think I see you going with your vision, give me a call, book it, okay? That's time that is not wasted. Um, thanks a lot for being here, thanks for watching us. Let me give you your gifts in front of everybody. Let me go get those. What are you doing, man? I thought you had to go. Yeah, we're supposed to be there at nine. All right. Oh. Did you see everything that was? No, talking? I heard. We all need this, and it's mine, right? But cut this yeah. off, or if you want to, cut it off. Or you can say, "Dee gave it to me," so I'm gonna keep it on there. Mm -hmm. Tips, right? Always ask for tips. You're yes. not gonna get a awesome. tip if you don't ask it. Sometimes people know. No. There's Yesterday, I, I groomed a dog. I came in on my Sunday. It was an aggressive, mean dog. I did not nick the dog. They did not tip me. I did not ask for a tip. So if you don't ask for something, and I don't need, you don't need to tip somebody, but if someone can, you tip, in my opinion, you tip when someone does something above and beyond yeah, the general line of duty. Yeah. So Sunday, I told her it's my church day. I want to be off. And actually I worked seven, I told her I've been working seven days a week for the last 14 years. So I started taking Sundays off in two, that late 2018 and 2019. So she knew, yeah, she said, my, that's my church day too, but my dog is so matted and you can't get her in for four weeks. So I came in on my Sunday. That's way above and beyond, yeah. right? Didn't nick the dog and it was extremely matted. And so yeah, ask for what you want. Yeah. Don't be afraid to say it, okay? Yeah, because we have some on 
Like we even have a tip box now, and they're like, "Oh, I didn't know y'all took tips." Yes, we did. Tip? Every, everything might, is appreciated, even right, if it's a dollar. Right. Oh, it does. You don't have to be a hundred dollar tip, but you no, can say something. Yeah. This is all I got. Fifty cents. It's a tip. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah. Now, thanks for it's acknowledging yeah. that I did a little bit above it. I think you should tip above and beyond in service mm -hmm. industry because I've been in service, uh, restaurant service industry. You kind of go, they're still getting paid two dollars an hour. That's mm -hmm. ridiculous in my opinion. Yeah. But then you kind of look at, did they fill your water? Did they bring your plates? Did they clean your plates? Did they check on you more than once? Did they check on how your steak was? All these things mm -hmm. equals a 15, 20 percent. You don't just get 15, 20 percent. You work for it. Yep. So that's my opinion. Take it how you want. Um, here's an uh, extra face mask. I really hope you wear it. And you can I say, I got it from Dee Dee, my favorite groomer. Yes. She, I care about your lungs. Yes. Okay, you can talk to Angela Bryce. She just got new lungs. There's, you yes, should take I care saw that. of that. Um, yes. iPads, okay, use them, don't put them away, and then I'm giving you a free nail grinder. Oh, awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for being a fan and Ugh. a donator and a contributor, and then you stopped by here. So, of an course, hour I drive? Had to. What? Yes. Thanks it's for being here, you guys. We appreciate you. Thanks Bye. for listening. Thanks for witnessing a super Bye. fan. All right, we love you guys, and we'll see you later. Thanks for being here. Bye. See ya.